In digital marketing, you have to realize that whenever you're project managing, there are a number of sophisticated tools that you might be able to engage with. But there could be also very simple tools, such as using a table in your wood processor or single, a single piece of paper. It depends on the scale of the project and the complexity of the project that is, it entails, what tools and techniques you would use. It is highly recommended that at least you would have a tasks or a gun chart that is allocating the tasks of, and providing you with a timeline for the aspects that will be done. You would also have a risk table that is highlighting the things that could potentially go wrong and how you are managing or keeping track of those particular risks. And a communication log, so for example you have your meeting notes or another way of potentially documenting some of the activities that you internally document with your customers or with your team to see how you might be able to benefit and manage your campaigns. There are again some sophisticated tools such as Microsoft Project that allow you to cost projects on by allocating resources and the, the types that they will be doing or could be used for a simple communication between multinational teams. But as long as you understand the principles, the tools are there to help you. Don't be uh, led by the tool. Always make sure that your team is happy and they are able to understand what you are trying to do. And that's really the key issue with those. In, in terms of the, the digital planning tools that we use, we don't use anything um, anything too complicated um, or anything too sophisticated, really, in terms of how we plan things. You know, you know, we, we, we do everything you know uh, written down on you know Microsoft and you know, Word and you know Excel. You know, be it you know plans and proposals through to you know Excel. You know, using that for you know work in progress documents or timelines and, and things like that. If we're if if we're doing an SEO campaign, obviously we use SEO tools, you know, to look at the different um, volumes that lie behind the keywords that exist. If we're using <coughs> Twitter, and uh, that we may then do a search for different Twitter handles, and um, you know that's that's that are right there. You know, we could segment those, and we could you know use social media um, sort of tools to look at the different um, levels of, of 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 exposure that we've received, the reach from you know the social media activity, and um, you know Facebook get offers its its own its own analytical area, and, and Twitter as well, and and even LinkedIn from a company page point of view. So, you know. It's all of the different tools that come with the software that we use. Um, we don't use anything too you know, much more specific or complicated than that, and that does us fine. We don't see any need to do that at the moment in terms and relating to the size of business that we actually are.